What I used for this was some wood glue, a wireless drill, two pieces of scrap wood, a thinner and a thicker piece, a measuring tape, a thicker dowel to hold the curtain, a skinnier dowel because I'm going to elongate the thicker piece, a drill bit to match the skinnier dowel, and then a hole saw which is actually going to match the thicker dowel's width, and then we're going to use that to go through the other piece of wood that will hold the dowel itself. I am actually going to be using some scrap wood for my workshop, so I spent nothing on this. And the thicker, thinner piece will be the back of the curtain that holds this thicker, shorter piece, which will hold the actual dowel itself. I cut two eight inch pieces of that skinnier, wider wood that's gonna be the backing, and then two three inch pieces of the shorter, thicker wood that's gonna hold the dowel. We are going to drill with that hole saw through the smaller piece and then attach it to the larger piece. I had a dowel that was legitimately just long enough, but I had to add a little extension, so I drilled through the middle of both of those dowels right through the center. That skinnier dowel is going to attach the two pieces, so I just added some wood glue within both of the holes, and then on one of the sides I added a lot of wood glue and then shimmied it all together. I drew a circle out onto the smaller piece and rested it onto the larger piece how I'd like it to make sure that was the situation I was down for before drilling that hole. When working with this drill bit, it does kick back, so you wanna make sure that you're clamping it down nice and tight. Go ahead and drill the hole and it should look something like this, and you can just use a piece of sandpaper to smooth out the inners. I used my orbital sander to sand down all the wood, but this is a project that you can actually just sand it down by hand. I used a 120 grit for this. To attach these pieces, I'm gonna be using some wood glue, two screws, a tape measure, my wireless drill with a good old fashioned Phillips head drill bit. Once everything was sanded, I placed my smaller piece where I wanted it, added some wood glue, and then flipped it over and pressed it firmly against the back wood. And then I just used that tape measure and made sure everything was even on all sides. I then flipped the entire thing over, resting it on the smaller piece and made sure that my screw is gonna line up with the thicker piece of the smaller wood so you're not drilling through the hole, obviously, because you wanna have some space for your dowel. And that is all, you guys. How absolutely rad does this look? I'm so pumped because it totally goes with the aesthetic of my office. Obviously, you're gonna repeat that same process for your second one, and now we're gonna install. I am going to be covering up this window and while the natural light is awesome, the direct sunlight is intense when I'm working there. So I just took my stud finder and thank goodness I found two studs equidistance from like the side of the windows that I can just drill the piece directly into. I took two longer wood screws and drilled directly through the actual backing of that curtain rod situation into the stud. There you have it, you guys. You have a super awesome natural looking DIY curtain rod and you can stain and paint it if you want to, but I'm keeping it natural and hanging up these deep green velvet curtains. Best part about it is the only thing I had to purchase were the curtains and those were less than $50. I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick and easy DIY curtain rod tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I will see you Sunday for another DIY. Thanks for the consistent love. You guys are the best. Yeah,